Hi guys, on today's video I'm showing you guys how to get this DIY vanity mirror under $100. If you guys are interested then just keep on watching. Also don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you aren't already. So without any further ado, let's get right into this video. So starting with what you're gonna need. First, we're gonna need two extension cords. It doesn't matter what length they are, I got the six inch. You're gonna need three boxes of light bulbs and I got them in the light or I got them in dimmable soft lighting. I also need two of the four light vanity strips and these I got from Amazon. I will list everything down below in the description box with prices and everything. And I'm also gonna need mounting clips for the mirror and the mirror I got it in the size 24 by 30 inches. So I did have my dad's help for this because I was a little nervous and I didn't want to mess it up. So he started, off, he started off by measuring the wall off of the tabletop so that it could be centered with the tabletop. And then actually drilling the mounting clips so that the mirror can stay in place. And it's pretty tight so the mirror is not going to move and it's not too heavy at all. So we did add all six of the mounting clips just to be sure and more secure. So now onto the light. We did start off by measuring where the center was so that the lights are centered with the mirror. And once we found the center, my dad went ahead and drilled onto the wall. And once he did that, we were able to attach the second part to the back of the light and add the light bulbs. You want to make sure that the wiring isn't visible. So my dad made sure that the wiring was sticking downward so that it's not visible through the sides. So now taking the extension cord and some wire cutters, I'm going to be cutting this end of the extension cord. As you guys can see, I was having so much trouble cutting it just because these cut scissors, whatever they are, were really old and I couldn't. But once I did, I just got some scissors and kind of like sliced the middle of the extension cord so that I can pull them apart. I did stretch them out about three to four inches it doesn't really matter just enough so that i can wire both ends of the extension cord and the actual light so what we want to do next is strip this much off of the end of the cord and we're just stripping the plastic part not the actual wire because we want some of the wire to be exposed and i did have some trouble with these um wire cutters because they're kind of old and for the next one i kind of used scissors but i was very careful not to cut the actual wire so i did have some trouble as you guys can see So now that I have both ends separated, I'm going to take one white from each end, from the light and the extension cord, and twist them together. And I'm also going to be taking one of the orange cones and twist it as well. You really need to use these cones just to prevent any fire hazards. So I didn't mention this before, but the extension cord is going to have two different sides. One of them is going to be more smooth and the other one is going to be more rigid. So you're going to want to take the smooth side with the black cord and twist them together. You're also going to want to use a, an orange cone afterwards. So now I'm ready to add the white cover up and start adding the knobs one by one 
and finally adding the light bulbs. So this is how I created my vanity mirror under $100. I will list everything down below in the description box as to all the items that I used, where they are from, and the prices as well. So if you guys have any further questions, please let me know down in the comment section and I will try to answer as best as I can. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!